As carbon emissions reduction has emerged as a major issue worldwide to combat global climate crisis, CCUS is now no longer an option, but an absolute necessity. Especially, CCS plays a crucial role as it enables large-scale carbon storage. There are already about 30 CCS projects operating around the world, and over 100 new CCS projects are under development across multiple nations, including South Korea. SKENS has also made great strides in the development of carbon capture technology and remains fully committed to pushing forward with CCS projects associated with clean blue hydrogen production. Blue hydrogen is a type of clean hydrogen produced from natural gas by permanently capturing and storing carbon dioxide emitted during the hydrogen production process. The Clean Blue Hydrogen Project being developed by SKENS undergoes two rounds of CCS treatment. First, carbon dioxide emitted during the extraction of natural gas from the gas fields located off the coast of Northern Australia is captured using commercially available CCS technology. Then, it is permanently stored and disposed of in the nearby abandoned gas fields in Timor-Leste. The low-carbon liquefied natural gas with its carbon dioxide removed in this way is brought to South Korea's Boryong LNG terminal to be used as feedstock for the blue hydrogen plant. Second, carbon dioxide emitted while reforming natural gas to produce blue hydrogen is also captured using CCS technology. The carbon dioxide captured in this way is then transported to the Bayuandan gas field in Timor-Leste to be permanently stored and disposed of. The clean hydrogen produced through two rounds of CCS process is distributed through hydrogen refueling stations across the nation or used to generate electricity at nearby hydrogen-fueled power plants. To turn South Korea into a future powerhouse of clean energy, SKENS will pave the way for such a valued transition.